Aries, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for December. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Now, if you're interested in taking part in our raffle, which is gonna take place on December 24th, 2022, final day to uh, purchase your tickets will be on December 23rd. Link is below in the description box. So if you wanna be a part of the draw, make sure you buy your tickets, okay? Okay, so your challenge is the Eight of Swords and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Hierophant in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge for the month of December, Aries, is the Eight of Swords. This is all about releasing yourself from this place of isolation, being on your own, feeling like uh, you're stuck. There's an energy here of feeling stuck, okay? And wanting to release yourself from this. We're gonna talk more about this being your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel there was an opportunity that came into your life, okay? This opportunity that came into your life looked like a very promising opportunity. For some of you, you may have looked at this opportunity as kind of just you know, being small, not really being worth your energy and being worth your time. And there could have been this, um, you know, energy of overanalyzing this opportunity. Okay. And we're going to talk more about that for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, you have the page of cups, the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Interesting. There's a situation right now in your life where there's something intuitively, I feel there's something that you want to abandon or you want to leave, or you want to disconnect from and you may not be 100% sure again in terms of an opportunity because there is an opportunity showing up for you with the Wheel of Fortune. And I think this is very much connected to your challenge because there's some sort of situation that you're involved in in your life where you want to free yourself from it, but you also don't know where it's going to take you. So if you let something go and you're letting something go that's already very much, you know, um, supporting you and it's very comfortable leaving that may be a little bit scary for you. Okay. And that's what I'm sensing here, but we're going to clarify and get more information in a moment in the near future. You have the hangman, the six of pentacles and the four of swords. So there's definitely this energy in the near future of healing, really working on yourself, resting, recouping your energy is what I'm getting here. And it looks like you are finally looking at something from a different perspective in the near future is what it looks like here with the hangman. Okay. We're going to clarify and find out more in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant in reverse, you are letting go of something that you're committed to. Okay. And again, I know a lot of people think the Hierophant is, you know, a marriage, a commitment, but for some people it could be, you know, something that they've committed themselves to for a long time, an institution for some of you. And you may be really reevaluating whether or not this, this situation you're um, committing yourself to isn't really worth it okay because the year is coming to an end now and a lot of us are changing the way we're doing things and you know things are kind of changing okay for everyone so let's get into your reading let's do some clarification let's see what's going on for you let's clarify the eight of swords So the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Four of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. So, um, excuse me, the High Priestess. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with your intuition, listening to your intuition. A lot of you in December are going to realize with Sagittarius, with the sun being in Sagittarius, first of all, it's a very lucky time for you and Leo, okay? Leo and Aries, December is the month for you, okay? In, unless you have some sort of um, squares or oppositions in your astrological chart, which I can't see, but you'll, you'll know that if you're into astrology. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with listening to your intuition, listening to that inner voice, your inner voice in December is going to speak to you. And it's going to say, Hey, Aries, you know, it's time to move on from this. It's time to disconnect from this. It's time to find a way to, 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 to be open to some sort of new opportunity. There's an offer being made. Okay. Four of cups. There's an offer that's going to be made to you, but these offers that are made, you look at it and you're like, eh, 
I don't know if that's for me. I don't know if, that, if I really want that. And spirit is saying your biggest challenge is gonna be to analyze, to get clear on these offers that are being made because these offers that are being made can really help you out of this place of feeling isolated and alone, okay? A lot of you, um, Spirit is saying lately you've been feeling really alone, like no one cares about you, um, feeling like there's like this destitute energy and it's like you wanna be released from that. And that's gonna be a big part of your challenge because one of these offers or opportunities that are coming in can really help you release yourself from the situation that has really been holding you back, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Judgment, the Chariot, and the Sun. So a lot of you may have not realized, okay, and again, it's going to be different for everyone who watches because we're all on different spiritual journeys, different paths. Some of us are advanced, some of us are not advanced. So depending on where you are and where you put yourself is where you need to be. So in the recent past, there was a huge opportunity, okay? This opportunity looked like it could, it either did or it didn't, depending on whether or not you took advantage of the situation. Um, it looks like it brought a lot of happiness to you, you know? And if you realize this, some of you realized it, some of you didn't. But if you did realize it, it was one that really allowed you to move forward okay that's what i'm getting like a really this really strong energy of wow i'm like finally have an opportunity to move forward and be happy is what i'm getting but there was also a lot of over um over analyzing you know there was this like constant over analyzing is this really worth it is it not is it really for me tell me more about the page of pentacles Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this because I think those of you who need the reading need to hear what I'm about to say. So in the recent past, there was a huge opportunity. A lot of you either abandoned the situation too early or there was like some sort of conflict or you cut this person off. Okay, in the past. And what Spirit is saying is you need to learn from this because this month there's gonna be another opportunity. In fact, this opportunity that's coming in is already presenting itself, but some of you are aware of it, some of you are not, okay? So Spirit is saying do not repeat the same mistake that you made in the past, overanalyzing an opportunity, um, not seeing the value within an opportunity and cutting the person off or cutting the situation off before it could develop. Because again, this situation is being placed in your life for a reason. It is a part of your destiny as you can see in the present moment, okay? So very important messages, Aries, hope, hopefully you're watching until the end, okay? Now let's talk about the present moment. There is an offer being made, okay? Page of Cups could be um, someone here who's making an offer that's connected to your destiny. Tell me more about the Page of Cups in the present moment for Aries. So the page of cups is clarified by the ace of swords, or excuse me, the four of swords, the eight of wands, and the three of swords. Someone in the present moment, okay? This is a side story for some of you. Someone in the present moment wants to apologize or they want some sort of forgiveness with you. The eight of wands is here with the three of swords. So I think I mentioned this to you like a few, few readings back and it's coming up again. Someone here is really hurt still in the present moment. I don't know if this is you or your person, but I feel like this is your person. They're still very much hurt over something that happened between you and them. And I do see a phone call. I do see someone reaching out and I'm getting a strong water sign. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Gemini, a Leo, okay? Um, could also be an Aquarius or a Libra. I did say Gemini, right? Yeah. So this person in the present moment could be reaching out or trying to heal some sort of facet of the relationship or some sort of situation that you had in your life. They want you to heal from this, okay? And that could be a decision that a lot of you may need to be open to making, all right? Now, I wanna talk about this opportunity that's coming in for you, but first I wanna clarify the Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles for Aries in the present moment. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Star, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So in the present moment, I'm, I'm just gonna say this because this is what I was feeling at the beginning of doing your reading. Um, I'm really strongly feeling like you're ready to move to the next phase of your life. Like there's a huge change that's coming in. A lot of you, like you're either aware of it or you're not. A lot of people tend to look at, you know, life as, oh, tarot readers always say this. Oh, tarot, yeah, but people don't take action. You know, like people can tell you, hey, there's opportunities opportunities. Hey, something beautiful is coming into your life. Hey, you know, this is happening, but people don't 
already believe it. So even if I say it, it doesn't mean that you are going to take advantage of that opportunity. And that's the issue that I'm seeing here. Okay. So in the present moment, there's something that you've always wanted. Like you have some sort of dream and it's presenting itself in the present moment. Someone here is being very generous towards you in the present moment. And there is a strong energy here of you needing to leave something behind. I don't know what that is. It could be where you live. It could be a job. I don't know. There's something that you need to abandon or you are being called to abandon in the present moment. Some of you have already done this. Like I said, it's going to be different depending on where you are on your path. Okay. Not all of you are going to be in the same place, right? So you need to apply the story to where it's going to fit for you. But what I'm seeing with the star and the three wands, this is really beautiful energy. This is someone who's ready to finally make their dreams come true. Some of you want to travel or you will be traveling. You could be traveling in the present moment or planning to, and this is a bit, this is very much connected to the dream, some dream that you've always wanted. Okay. So healing, accepting forgiveness, apologizing, being open to that is going to be very much important to you, letting something go and leaving it behind so that you can move forward towards something that's really a part of your destiny. Okay. So this, that's what's happening. Okay. So what is this situation? That's a part of your destiny Aries. Let's see. The wheel of fortune is clarified by the fool, the wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles. Wow. Seven of cups in reverse. Okay. Listen, very important message. So in the present moment, you have the wheel of fortune twice. What? What? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. There's a big opportunity in the present moment. Okay. It's connected to a new beginning. So you're going to know if there's a new beginning presenting itself in the present moment, it is a part of your destiny. It's confirmation for you. This situation that is a part of your destiny is going to allow you to find the stability that you want. Either you're attracting someone who's very stable financially. They're very grounded. They, you know, they have all the resources that you need, or this could be you becoming this individual. Okay. So something here is happening for you and it's a, it's very much connected to a new beginning. Okay. Now let's talk about the near future in the near future, the hang man's here. So there's a lack of action being taken. Why? Let's see. So the hangman is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Hierophant and the Emperor. Okay. So the big issue here in the near future, if you're married or committed to something any anything person, place or thing, there's an opportunity here for you to bring stability into this relationship connection commitment that you're involved in. The problem I'm seeing is you need to really understand, understand and understand why someone's being on and off with you. There's a reason. There's a reason why something isn't consistent and it's because you need to look at it from a different perspective. If in the near future, you're able to look at the situation from a different perspective, it can really help you to really connect with what needs to happen in order to find and have that stability that you're looking for. And I think this is very much connected to give equal give and take and healing. So in any part of your relationship, you need to make sure in the near future that you're not just taking, 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 and not giving back. And you need to make sure that you're not just giving, 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 and not um, receiving. Okay. There needs to be a balance here. And that is very much connected to your seventh house, which is Libra astrologically, especially if you're a rising Aries. Okay. So there's a lot of healing that's going to be taking place. If you ignore this, like you ignored it in the past, it's just going to lead to you a not having a new beginning and b disconnecting from something that you can potentially commit yourself to. So you have free will, right? I can just tell you what's going on and it's up to you if you want to take action or not. Okay. All right. Let's get some advice. You have the eight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles and the four of cups. Your biggest piece of advice here has a lot to do with you becoming self-sufficient, becoming independent, working on that. Your whole entire life purpose as an Aries being um, your sole mission. If you're a sun Aries, your sole mission is to become Aries like energy, which means, you know, being the baby and learning how to grow until you become Pisces, which is the all 12 signs. So your biggest piece of advice here is to work on yourself in December. And when these opportunities and offers come in, it's going to be so much more clear to you, whether or not they're for you, the more you develop yourself, the more you're confident, the more you don't have to rely on other people, the more you're going to be able to pick and choose the options, right? There's something here about, Oh, I don't want to be forced to do something that I don't want to do. I don't want to be forced to, to take a job that I don't want to do. I don't want to be forced to, you know, um, do something that, that I don't really like. And this has a lot to do with your work, eight of pentacles. Okay. So the more you become focused on building success within you, the more less likely it is that you have to rely on, depend on other people and be forced 
to be in situations that you don't want to be in. Okay. So this is the advice that I have for you. If you're interested in being a part of our raffle on December 24th, last day to purchase your tickets will be on the 23rd of December. Link is below in the description box. If you have any questions, you can contact me, uh, in my chat on my store. Okay. So thanks so much for tuning in Aries. I'm sending love and light and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.